This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to demonstrate how to check cranial nerve 5, which is the trigeminal nerve. So what does the trigeminal nerve do? Well, it's responsible for a couple things. Number one, it's responsible for sensation in our face and motor function. It allows us to bite down and chew food. So first we're going to test sensation and to do this you're going to need a cotton ball and something with a sharp edge. An easy way to get something with a sharp edge is to take a cotton swab, cut it in half and this will achieve that sharp edge for you. Now whenever we're testing for sensation we're testing three areas of the face where the trigeminal nerve branches off and these include ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular regions. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the patient close their eyes and we're going to take our cotton ball and we're going to test bilaterally in those areas you just seen. And whenever the patient feels it, tell them to say yes. And what you're looking for is equal feeling. What would be abnormal is if they don't feel it the same on each side or they have a decreased response to it. So tell me yes when you feel this sensation. Yes. 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 And because he has a beard, we're going to go in this area right here. We're not going to go over the hair. Yes. Yes. Okay, now we're going to take our sharp object and we're going to repeat the same way. Yes. Yes. Okay, and lastly what we're going to do is we're going to test the patient's ability to differentiate between a soft touch and a sharp touch. So tell me if you feel sharp, just say sharp or soft, okay? okay. Soft. Sharp. Soft. Sharp. Soft, sharp. Okay. Now what we're going to do is test the corneal reflex. And to do this, you'll want to have the patient remove their contacts if they wear them because it can throw off the test. You're going to take another cotton ball and you're sort of just going to twist it at the end like this. And what we're going to do is have the patient stare off and you're going to take this part of the cotton ball in at the side of the eye and touch the cornea. And what you're looking for is for that eye to blink and simultaneously that other eye to blink as well. And if that didn't happen, that would be an abnormal response. Okay, so we're going to go in at the side and touch the cornea. And he should blink. Now we're going to test motor function and what I want you to do is I want you to bite down for me. Okay, and what you want to do is take your hands and you're going to feel the masseter muscle and the temporal muscle. And you should feel a nice ball of muscle that is equal on both sides and the temporal muscle. And I feel that. An abnormal finding would be if it was unequal on each side or very small. Next, what you want to do is you want to see how well the patient can move their jaw against resistance. So I'm going to have you try to open up your jaw against my hand. That was very strong. An abnormal finding would be they couldn't do that at all. And then try to move from side to side. Okay. Okay, so that is how you test cranial nerve 5. Now be sure to check out my other videos on how you test the other cranial nerves. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.